In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the Fairtex MMA shorts we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about all of their features, how they came about in the MMA world originally, why you'd want to wear them, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training in Fairtex shorts. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been in martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and see all of the videos we've got on all the products here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Fairtex MMA shorts we have for sale at Enzo. So in the UK, I've kind of been around the MMA scene from the beginning. In the early days, I used to take Enzo to some of the MMA fights all around the country and have a little store there. And very early on, people had people were training with board shorts. And I think in the really early days, people were actually wearing the surfing board shorts. Very, very good design for MMA, and I assume some people are still using them. Now, MMA's moved on a lot and the kit and the training kit has developed loads and loads and there's still some designs that are hanging back to those old board shorts and these Fairtex MMA shorts are very much following those lines. Now there was lots of features on the board shorts that really suited like the cage fire in the MMA. So it's really good that Fairtex is still producing a short that very much suits the MMA scene. Like I said, harking back to those original board shorts that people used to wear. Now you don't see that many board shorts nowadays. People have moved on a little bit and you do get these kind of rolling fashions in MMA, even though it's very, very new in terms of sort of a martial art out there, you do seem to get these rolling fashions. So like I said, in the very early days, you'd get surfing board shorts, similar to these. And then fairly quickly people moved into like the Valet Tudo shorts, the VT shorts and rash guards, you know, and rash guards again go back to that kind of like surfing theme because, you know, it stops you getting robbed while lying on the board, you didn't get sort of rashes on your chest and again it's perfect for wrestling. So lots of people moved into VT shorts and rash guards quite early on and they did tend to be the short sleeve rashies and VT shorts. And then it moved back into sort of board shorts and longer sleeve rash guards. And that's kind of been a theme for probably about 10 years or so. And now again, we're getting a lot more people coming in the shop asking for VT shorts again. And short sleeve rash guards are being popular again. So there's definitely this rolling wave of fashions that come through MMA and people have different ideas about what they want to be wearing and I guess different uses they want less clothing more clothing tighter clothing baggier clothing so over the years it just changes as people's wants and needs change now one thing that has remained all the way through a board shorts like this and this design of Fairtex MMA shorts has stayed pretty consistent for quite a long time now. Now there is some older sort of UFC and pride fights where you see these being worn and actually people, if they're sponsored by Fairtex, would be wearing these shorts. So it's really nice to actually see these being used at the highest level. Now we do have other types of shorts and MMA shorts, grappling shorts here at Enzo Martial Arts and I'll show you all of those a bit later. But now I thought I'd run through some of the features on these Fairtex shorts. Now, just like some of the old ball shorts, there's no elastic in them whatsoever. So they're not elasticated around the waist. It's just a nice, really thick, double stitched, sort of uh, reinforced band around the top. And the way you fix it is by the drawstrings inside. And it's got this Velcro fixing so you can adjust exactly how you want. And it flips over the top just like that so you're not getting any velcro rubbing on you or your training partner which is actually really important because it can get pretty nasty like a velcro rubbing on there the early days ones didn't have that and you get bits of velcro rubbing on people and you can get a lot of cuts which can lead to skin infections so it's nice to have that flap over the top to stop any of that now one thing that the board shorts wouldn't have had which does exist on these MMA shorts is a really really big split in the side so you don't want any restrictions when you're kicking 
and it's something that the tie shorts have always had a nice split in the side and these follow that exact rule now again in the early days of mma shorts you never got any reinforcements in here but on these you can see there's a whole load of extra reinforced stitching so there's no chance of that tearing especially if you're doing no gi training you know a lot of wrestling and grappling you know that is definitely a stress point so fairtex have made sure that that's nice and reinforced the material on these shorts as well is also really like it's got like a microfiber type feel really really fast drying so it does get wet if you're a bit sweaty or whatever it will dry really really quick so you won't have this kind of sodden clothing that you do get with some particular bits of training equipment so training clothing it's not so good but this is a yeah really really thin microfiber feel that will dry really really quick now another thing if you look on the inside they've got this air text layer so you've got a nice breathable layer between you and the actual outside of the short and this just helps like get lots of air into your shorts helps you helps your skin breathe and gets that sweat away so it's got lots of space for the sweat to evaporate keeping you as cool as possible while you're training now on the side it's got a big embroidered fairtex fairtex logo on the other leg and a nice embroidered fairtex patch on the top of that flap so again really nice branding on these shorts but not too mental still relatively plain especially if you're comparing them to most tie shorts the kind of final feature that's worth mentioning on these shorts is it's got like a lycra spandex almost like uh, the same material as you get on uh, leggings or, or even spats and it's a stretchy kind of uh, groin area right in the middle so again this really helps with kicks um, has loads of stretch in it which is really really good both ways stretching on the inside of your legs so there's just no restriction when you're grappling and down in guard or somewhere like that or when you're kicking there's no restriction at all from these shorts so who would wear shorts like these is it just for the mma guys well sort of like people within that field so obviously people that are training straight mma like in again in the old days you wouldn't have had pure mma classes it was always like the individual di disciplines boxing thai boxing grappling wrestling etc whereas nowadays you get much more of these combined classes where people just train in mma and a pair of shorts like this would be perfect but if you are doing some grappling wrestling just on its own again you could still wear these shorts they're really good for the nogi style of training absolutely no problem also they're a really nice short to wear so if you do do a bit of surfing as well absolutely no problem they could go in the water that'd be they'd be they'd be perfect for it so if you just want a short that you can wear around outside of training you can double up and use these as well now getting things to fit can always be a bit of a headache especially if you're buying online it's always really hard to know these come in small medium large xl and those sizes are pretty accurate most people know if they're usually a medium or a large you know i'd say the medium's around 32 inch waist something like that always it's a bit of a guess if you're buying online but as a general rule 30 32 34 36 waists should be small medium large xl so like I said, over the years, the kit for MMA practitioners has exploded really. And there's some companies now that just dedicate purely to the grapplers and the MMA guys. So as well as the Fairtex shorts, we also have Train Shorts by Scramble, Tatami and Ringside. So we do long sleeve and short sleeve rash guards by Tatami and Scramble and Spats and VT shorts. We also do a whole range of tie shorts, really, really good selection. I would say one of the best in the country. So go on the website and check out all of those products we have available. So that's kind of all there is to say on these shorts. I hope it's been useful. I hope you've got now loads of information, much better informed of these shorts. As promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Fairtex MMA shorts we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. 
If you like this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos on all the products we have here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.